A central Kentucky neighborhood in shock tonight. He did care for people. He loved people. Now friends and family are remembering three people who died in the Winchester apartment fire. Surveillance video shows what happened at a Lexington liquor store when police say a man barricaded himself inside. I'm Jennifer Palumbo in Nashville, where the Big Blue Nation has taken over Music City, and we are an hour and away from tip off of the Cats and the Crimson Tide. Rob Bromley and I will have team coverage coming up. WKYT News starts now with breaking news. Good evening. After about three hours on the run, an inmate who police say escaped while being taken to jail is now back in custody. State police say David Haddix jumped out of a transport van in Breathitt County this afternoon. He was facing kidnapping and assault charges. Monique Blair joins us now live from Breathitt County with the breaking details. Monique? Well, Sam and Amber, yeah, it was about after a three-hour search that David Haddix was caught just about two miles from where he escaped from that transport van. Now, Haddix was on his way back to Three Forks Regional Detention Center after he had a court appearance this afternoon. Jackson Police Chief Ken Spicer says somehow Haddix managed to open the back door of the van and get away. A witness called police around 4.30 saying he saw Haddix get into a gray Saturn on Miller's Branch. Police spotted that car and Haddix plus three others inside that car were arrested. Those three suspects are charged with hindering apprehension. One of those suspects just got out of jail today at 2.54 p.m. I spoke with Haddix's mother a few minutes ago. She tells me she was hoping her son would not be caught. Yeah, he really wants to go. I mean, I was rooting for him. I won't lie to you. I'm a mother. Anybody in the same situation would feel the same way if it was their son. You know, I just want to see my son. Just want to be able to hug him. Just won't be able to tell him it's okay, but I can't promise him what's going to happen. Now, Chief Spicer says when Haddix was arrested, he still had one handcuff on one of his wrists. And he was also still wearing his jail uniform. Chief Spicer says, in addition to his original charges, he now faces a charge of escape. Reporting live in Breathitt County, Monique Blair, WKYT. Monique, thank you. What caused a fire that killed three people and injured six others at a Winchester apartment building? Tonight, firefighters say they don't yet have that answer. That fire started about 1.30 this morning on Spring Mist Lane. Witnesses say that some people jumped out of windows to escape the burning building. Garrett Weimer is tracking the investigation tonight. He's live now to begin our top story team coverage. Garrett. Investigators were out here all day. Now crews are here fencing up and closing off the building. Neighbors call the fire a nightmare, not only destroying homes, but taking the lives of three of their friends. We opened up the door and the whole apartment complex was uh, engulfed in flames. Johnny Hill was in the building next door when he says he heard a loud noise, opened his door, and saw the other building on fire. We jumped out here, got the kids out of there, and I started banging on doors and windows and doing whatever I could to get everybody out. Two people never made it out of the burning building. A third person later died at the hospital. Up with the amount of fire involvement from what I was told uh, when the units got here that uh, um, they, they, I'm sure, you know, there's firefighters are always nervous, but it's their job to, to get people out, and they did their best with what they could do. Uh, Investigators say six people were hurt. Neighbors described seeing several people jump from the second floor to get away from the flames. Angry, upset, pretty much everything. It's been a difficult day for folks who lost neighbors, lost friends. And she was an openly, generally kind of woman. She would help out anybody. Now, the Red Cross has been here helping out the folks who survived the fire but lost their homes. And just a few moments ago, neighbors told me they were going to go get some candles to put up here in memory of their friends. Live in Winchester, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Garrett, thank you. And tonight we are learning more about some of the victims of that fire. One grief stricken woman talked to us about her grandson who died in his father's apartment. Kristen Kennedy continues our team coverage with her story. He did care for people. He loved people. Alice Gray lost her grandson, Donald Heisel, in Friday morning's apartment fire. She says he didn't live there. His father, Jackie, did. 
and that Thursday night, Jackie asked Donald to come and spend time with them. He was such a great grandson, <laughs> and I loved him so much, and he was always a good person. Heisel was one of three who died in the fire. The other two were women. Friends say one was older and the other wasn't even 30. Good, good little girl, 29. Loved animals, loved life, giggled all the time. She was a giggler. T.J. Jones was good friends with the two women who died. He called them coffee buddies and said both were kind. We're tight down here. We're like a little neighborhood. There's 29 apartments and 29 little families trying to get ahead. The coroner is still notifying the families of the two women. Neighbors say they are originally from other counties. In Winchester, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Neighbors believe the two victims who have not been identified are originally from eastern Kentucky. New tonight, a child had to be rushed to the hospital after being hit by a car. It happened about 4 this afternoon near the intersection of Bryan Station Road and Rookwood Parkway. Police say the child was in a crosswalk when he was hit. He was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say the driver ran a red light before hitting the child, and they think the driver may have suffered a medical emergency. Tonight, we are getting a better look at what happened inside a Lexington liquor store when police say a man barricaded himself for hours. Police say they were chasing Timothy Caldwell Wednesday night when they say he ran into the store on Georgetown Street. One of the employees in the store hid in a cooler while Caldwell ran in. Newly released surveillance video shows us how it all unfolded. Caitlin Sentner has the story. We've seen some crazy stuff, uh, but this takes the cake. 27-year-old Timothy Wade Caldwell had employees of Corner Liquor shaken up. Police were in pursuit with guns drawn. They don't know where he's at, so they exit the front door. Store owner Patrick O'Neill says two employees were still inside at the time. His employee texted him, boss 911, and then he was able to watch it all unfold. He came out from this back room area, out this narrow door, he found a firearm. One of the employees used the drive through window as his getaway. Another hid out in the walk-in cooler. When I see this guy walking around my business with a gun to his head, you know, it's unnerving to say the least. At one point, you can see Coldwell on the phone and smoking a cigarette. He has a gun in his right hand pointed at his head, and in his left hand is Jägermeister taken from the shelf. You just pray that the outcome is going to be favorable. Finally, hours into a new day, multiple police filed into the store. This is the bathroom where we had four SWAT members of the Lexington SWAT team plus the perpetrator in a bathroom that's uh, not the size for Harley, you and I. Lexington police de-armed and arrested Coldwell, leaving a store owner and many employees thankful the situation ended peacefully. In Lexington, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Caldwell faces more than 20 charges, including wanton endangerment, burglary, fleeing from police, and possession of a handgun by a felon. Well, the wait is almost over for the Big Blue Nation. In less than an hour, the U.K. basketball team will tip off against Alabama in the SEC tournament. And fans hope it's the start of a championship run. Rob Bromley and Jennifer Palumbo join us live now from Nashville with the latest. Good evening, guys. <laughs> Good evening, Sam, and what a difference an hour makes. Rob, yeah. it is Kentucky yeah. blue and white as far as the eye can see. They're waiting right now to get into Bridgestone Arena, the Cats and the Crimson Tide. Yeah, everybody waiting to get in the door. Texas A&M won this afternoon, so did LSU, and now tonight the Kentucky Wildcats go into the SEC tournament, and they get the Alabama Crimson Tide for the third time this year. Now, the games during the regular season were not close, not in Tuscaloosa, not in Rupp Arena, but Alabama is bolstered by last night's tournament win over Ole Miss and the Tide is eager for another shot at the Cats. You know Kentucky's a good team and they do what, we, what they do but at the same time I got complete faith in our coaching staff and teammates that we have more than enough you know to to go out there and give them uh, give us give them our best shot. We're starting to play a lot better I know Kentucky's a really great team give them all the respect and uh, we're just gonna try to go in and scout and do our best we can. Our coaching staff always prepares us really well. Ulysses controls the controls the pace and, and gets everybody involved. So we just gotta 
we got to slow his assist down and, and try to just play our game. That's it. We're not looking at it as like we're playing the Warriors. Or we're, playing the, we're playing Kentucky. So we just got to come out and play. But this year, you know, we have guys who play a lot of minutes. So you know, our bench is probably going to have to step up, come in and do their job, which they have a lot this year. And you know, I feel like we'll be fine. So it is all set for 7 o'clock tonight on the SEC Network as Kentucky goes against the Alabama Crimson Tide. And the Big Blue Nation out in front of Bridgestone Arena <laughs> waiting to get in, Jennifer. That's right. And the arena seats just under 20,000. The UK-Alabama game is expected to be the biggest crowd so far of this tournament with a sea of blue and white. Bridgestone Arena may look more like Rupp Arena with blue and white taking over this SEC tournament. Oh, I get ready, getting all these, get myself ready to shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Even UK's boogeyman Darren Mosca will be here dancing and cheering on the cats. Laura Ferguson followed the cats from her hometown in Bullitt County, which is also the home of UK fan favorite Derek Willis. Everywhere I go, we're here, here about Bullitt County now because of Derek Willis, and I'm so glad that he's in the starting lineup and he's playing well. It's great to be there. So we hear so much about him, and we're very excited. Bridgestone is smaller than Rupp, and this game is a hot ticket. Rick Mink is one of the lucky fans who will be in the stands. I don't think it's near as difficult this year as it was last year. Last year we came down and, and we ended up going to the final game. This year we had tickets, but we've had several people offer us tickets too. And fans tell me they are paying less this year than last year, but they say they would pr pay pretty much anything because they want to be in there to cheer on the Cats tonight. Well, the higher seeds won this afternoon, but you know, like Cal said yesterday, you always. The first one's always the toughest, so we'll just see how they come out tonight. But I would certainly look for Kentucky to move out of the semifinals tomorrow. Yeah, and these fans behind us would agree. We'll have more coming up here live from Nashville in sports. But for now, that's it from Music City. Sam, back to you. Rob and Jennifer, thank you. And for more UK and SEC tournament coverage, just go to our website, WKYT.com. Her husband, a police officer, died in the line of duty. Now a Richmond woman is keeping his memory alive by organizing a fundraiser in his honor. That's next. And we are tracking clouds out there for you on this Friday. Those clouds mean rain into the weekend. We'll have it all coming up for you. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. We're celebrating our anniversary this week at Ashley Home Store with 72 months interest-free financing. Get our best-selling queen storage bed for less than $13 a month and the snail head trim sofa for only $10 a month. Plus, pick up the 50% off all clearance items. Ashley Home Store. This is home. The intelligent all-new Audi Q7 was engineered to help sense danger before you do. Because when you live to innovate, you innovate to live. The all-new Audi Q7, a higher form of intelligence, has arrived. Savor something different every day. Just ask for the $3 sub of the day at Subway restaurants. A different six-inch sub every day for only three bucks. Classics like the meatball marinara an Italian BMT, plus favorites like the turkey breast and turkey and black forest ham. Seven days, seven subs, three dollars. Subway, founded on fresh. Tobacco smoke is more hazardous to our children than we ever knew. Chemicals in cigarette smoke mix with nitrous acid in air, forming a nasty residue. One 12 times more toxic to a child than inhaling a cigarette. This stuff clings for months to carpets, car seats, and floors. This third-hand smoke emits toxins easily ingested by little hands. It's linked to ear infections, asthma, even sudden death syndrome. Now we know. Life gets better the older you get, and time becomes more valuable. Time to spend with family, time to try new things, time to have fun. At Kroger, you can have your prescriptions filled while you shop. So it's easy to save money and time with your Kroger Pharmacy. And you can get back to the things you love. 
It's easy to manage all of your family's prescriptions all online. Order refills, view prescription history, and more. Visit Kroger.com slash MyPrescriptions today. The AFP has had its eye on her for quite some time. We were just waiting for the right moment to move in. The vibe was anything but playful. Go, go, go. We knew we had to move in fast, but there was a crowd, so we had to play it cool. This is where the years of training paid off. We got the scratch-off ticket to her in the nick of time. We're agents to play, man. People think this job is all fun and games, but we take our fun seriously. That's what being an agent of play is all about. Thank you. We're just doing our job. Put a little play in your day with scratch-offs from the Kentucky Lottery. Fueling imagination, funding education. It's the anniversary sale at Ashley Home Store, and we're celebrating with 72 months interest-free financing. Or take 10% off your entire purchase, plus take 36 months to pay interest-free. Hurry in. These anniversary savings won't last long. Ashley Home Store. This is home. We are tracking some breaking news right now happening out of Clark County. We have just learned a man has been arrested in connection to that deadly apartment fire that we've been telling you about all day long and at the top of this newscast. 55-year-old Jackie Heisel Jr. has now been booked into the Clark County Detention Center on manslaughter charges. Three people were killed and six others were injured in the fire along Spring Miss Lane. Firefighters have not yet said what caused the fire, but again, there has been an arrest made of Jackie Heisel. We'll have much more on the investigation coming up tonight at 11. Well, that race hasn't even started, but a Memorial 5K in honor of a fallen Richmond police officer has already raised thousands of dollars. The Officer Daniel Ellis Memorial 5K will be held next Saturday morning, a week from this Saturday, beginning at Richmond Center. Officer Ellis was killed in the line of duty last fall. His widow, Katie, says around 1,000 people have signed up for the race, and $50,000 has been raised already for the Daniel Foundation. It's been absolutely wonderful. I mean, the community has supported us so much, and I just, I don't know how else to say thank you except for to give back, and that's what we're going to try to do with the foundation. The foundation will provide scholarships for first responders who want to go to college. It will also help those in the community who are in need. Now, your hour by hour forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell. Been a cloudy Friday out there for most of us, and we're going to keep those clouds around, and actually, we're going to wring them out a little bit. Starting this weekend, we're going to run into some rain chances moving into the area starting tomorrow. Rain chances return, but the positive spin, and if you can find one, will certainly be that the warmer air will remain pretty dominant this weekend. Low 70s, upper 60s on uh, Sunday, 70s tomorrow. But for the first time in a while, our seven day forecast has a good, cool, truly cool shot of air that comes in at the end of it with 40s for highs again. So it's certainly out there. Right now in Lexington, though, you can see the clouds. With the sun trying its best to peek through, it's just been a thick band of cloud cover that's been with us through the day. Today, 59 degrees right now. Winds are on the calm side as well. It's not a very windy day at all. What we have out here otherwise would be upper 50s, low 60s across southern and eastern Kentucky as well. London 60, Jackson 60, you can see Moorhead 59, Mount Sterling 59, so long 64. We hold steadier to, or at least closer to that 59 degree mark. A lot of moisture trying to invade the southern states, and it's going to continue to do so in working into Kentucky with that area of low pressure that's going to track out of uh, essentially Houston over the next uh, couple of days and push more moisture into Kentucky, giving us more widespread rain chances out there. This is the way it looks with the hour by hour forecast. It's all about that low and its advancement getting closer and closer to us. There you see the shower starting to fill in a little more so into parts of uh, Tennessee. So if Kentucky winds and you're going to try to shoot on down there for tomorrow, you'll likely run into a passing shower or two around Nashville as well. Beyond that, we get into your Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. More rain chances around here as well. But you notice it's not a washout. So we've got the mention of rain in the forecast for your Saturday, but it's not going to be one of those that completely ruins your entire day. Here's where seven day forecast breaks down as well. 72 tomorrow, Sunday at 68. So a very wet weekend. An important weekend too, especially for us daylight lovers, because we've got some more daylight to talk about as we go into your Saturday night into Sunday morning. It's daylight saving time. As we will advance our clocks up one hour if you're up at two o'clock in the morning. If you have some older clocks now, if you have, of course, uh, your, your cell phone that's your main timepiece, which is mine. I don't wear it on my wrist, but I should certainly have that as my main timepiece. It'll set up for you, or it should at least. If it doesn't, you've got some problems. But uh, 
That is fantastic. So we've got some longer days there, guys, into the evening hours with the sunshine. Problem is, it's a wet weekend where mm -hmm. you get those longer days. So we'll get through it. We'll have to. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Helping us get through it. The cat's playing. <laughs> Rob joins us again live from Nashville with tip off about 45 minutes away. Rob. Well, that's right. The cats get the crimson tide tonight. When we come back, we'll hear from Tyler Eulis and Avery Johnson. Stay with us on WDKYT. First Alert Weather is brought to you by Columbia Gas of Kentucky. Listen, guys, if you go to Hellsburg and spend the same amount of money, your girl will be wearing much smaller diamonds. Hellsburg's third carat bridal sets are $8.99. The Castle's half carat bridal sets are the same price. Nobody makes I do as big and affordable as we do. During the Lexus Command Performance Sales Event, Johnson steps up to the line. There's always cause for celebration. <laughs> Got it. With extraordinary offers on our most exciting lineup of SUVs ever, including the stylish all-new RX and the dynamic NX, because three. thrills like this yeah. only happen during the Command Performance Sales Event. Lease the 2016 NX 200 Turbo for $349 a month for 36 months, and we'll make your first month's payment. See your Lexus dealer. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend to the public, so don't pay store prices. Get quality furniture and mattresses at incredibly low prices. Pillow Top Mattress Set 197. Deluxe Super Pillow Top Mattress Set 397. Go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com for more details. Unclaimed freight notice this weekend at American Freight. Over 1,000 truckloads of living room furniture. Seven piece living room groups that include a sofa, love seat, coffee table, two end tables, and two designer lamps. You get all seven pieces from only $398 complete. Free layaway till tax refund. Same day delivery. Come to the Looney Docks this weekend only at American Freight in Lexington, 272 West New Circle Road, next to Walmart, across from Jalapenos. Phone 226 0008. What's the biggest thing in home comfort? Fayette Heating and Air, the largest HVAC company in central Kentucky. When your system needs service, bigger is better. That's because they have more than 70 vehicles on the road. So there's one near your home 24-7, 365. Call to schedule your complete system checkup, only $59. For expert service day or night, everywhere in central Kentucky. At Frankfurt Toyota, we have new 2016 Corollas, up to $2,200 off MSRP or 0% financing available. Or new 2016 RAV4s, up to $2,200 off MSRP or take advantage of 0% financing. And we'll double your no-cost maintenance to 4 years or 50,000 miles. Frankfurt Toyota, Google rated 4.9 out of 5 stars. Frankfurt Toyota, or check us out online at frankfurttoyota.com. Kentucky Lottery is Keno, the exciting way to have fun every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. The castle, twice the jewelry. Half the price. Jared's half carat best friend true love rings are $9.99. At the castle, get the same quality, same carat weight rings for only $5.95. Shop 10 castle locations or thecastlejewelry.com. And welcome back to Nashville, where they have opened the doors of Bridgestone Arena a little bit late, and the Big Blue Nation is filing in right now to watch their team as the Cats start the postseason here tonight against Alabama for the right to move on to the SEC semifinals tomorrow afternoon. Now, the Cats always have a crowd wherever they go, and that will certainly be the case again here this evening. The players who have been down the tournament trail before know all about it. Definitely, you know, I was telling Zay, we were looking at pictures, and he's like, is that a Rupp? And I'm like, no, that's the SEC tournament. <laughs> you know, these fans, they travel for us. You know, they go anywhere we go, and you know, it's going to be like a home game for us, which is great. You know what? We, we just got to try to stay in front of him, contain him. And, you know, he, we can't afford for him to have a double-double. Got to try to take something away, which is easily said than done. And there's Avery Johnson talking about trying to contain Tyler Eulis, which is not easy to do. Kentucky is solid favorite. This game tips off at 7 o'clock. So we are getting closer and closer. We've already had a couple of games played here this afternoon. And to bring us up to date on that and everything else, let's send it back home to Lee K. Howard. Lee K. 
All right, thank you, Rob. Yeah, Kentucky will try to become the third team to punch a ticket to the SEC semifinals on Saturday in Nashville. Here's what the bracket looks like to this point. Texas A&M advanced with a 72-66 to one over Florida. The Aggies will get LSU in the semifinals. The Tigers top Tennessee 84-75 to following the Kentucky-Alabama game. The late game tonight is between South Carolina and Georgia. Well, after a first round early exit in last year's Girls Sweet 16, Franklin County was poised for a better showing, poised to make a run to a state title. The Lady Flyers beat Shelby Valley in the opening round today, taking on Campbell County in the quarterfinals. Second quarter, Anna Aristia out of the corner, her third three of the first half. Lady Flyers led 33-26 at the break. In the fourth quarter, Deja Kilborn drives and scores. Franklin County was up 39-33 with 2.30 to play. Final minute, the lead down to one. Princess Stewart finds the crease and scores. She had 14 points. Final seconds, Franklin County up three. Needs a stop and gets it when Taylor Close is called for the push off before the shot there. Franklin County escapes with the 41-38 win to advance to the semifinals. It was tough, but uh, I knew that me and my teammates, we would pull out the win. We've been wanting to make it this far longer than anyone knows. We got some stops when we needed it and some rebounds, and it sure would have been nice to make a few more layups and free throws, but we're not going to argue at 6.30 tomorrow night about where we're playing. Now let's talk about that. Mercer County also back in the Sweet 16 for a second straight year, facing Holmes today in the quarterfinals. Final seconds of the first quarter, that's Lexi Lake. The corner three puts the Titans up by six. Big second quarter for Mercer County. Good passing gets to Emma Souter. Mercer up 31-18 at the half. They had to hold off the rest of the way. Nice move there by Sagrin Robbins. She had 21 points, and down the stretch they go. Emma Davis cutting to Emma Souter. Mercer County's season continues with the 59-55 win. They will play Franklin County on Saturday. I knew that we had the ability to get this far, but, I mean, you just never know what's going to happen when you get here, so it's pretty amazing. I know our school had already made history for our girls' team, and now we just get to keep pushing and hopefully win a state championship. I was so happy when the buzzer went off and we won. So congratulations to Mercer County and Franklin County. Those two teams playing each other on Saturday, which guarantees one will play for a state title on Sunday. Back with more after this. WKYT's first alert weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on Mix 94.5. Are you planting a tree? Are you digging a garden? Are you digging a swimming pool? Are you putting up a mailbox? Always call 811 before you dig. It's not just a good idea, it's the law. Columbia Gas of Kentucky. It's this weekend, the monthly show at Athens Schoolhouse Antiques this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's your chance to shop room after room of quality antiques and collectibles from over 70 dealers. This weekend at Athens Schoolhouse Antiques on Richmond Road, a mile past I-75. Don't miss your chance to see Flashdance, the musical. One girl, one dream, one chance. What a feeling. Variety Live presents Flashdance, the musical, April 12th at the Lexington Opera House. Toyota's number one for everyone sales event is in full swing at Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer, Green's Toyota of Lexington. Save up to $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Special APR offers available, including 0% APR on our most popular models. And get up to $2,000 customer cash on 13 different models. Hurry in for Toyota's number one for everyone sales event. Going on now at Green's Toyota. Great people, great cars, great greens. I don't want an ordinary funeral. I want my life to be celebrated. I've had such a full and blessed life and I want everyone to know it. That's how I want to be remembered. When people leave my end of life celebration, I want them feeling uplifted. Contact Clark Legacy Center to plan your end of life celebration. This new DQ chicken bruschetta is a high-end Italian sports car. No, actually, it's oven-hot focaccia bread, a balsamic glaze. It's a high-end Italian romance. No, 
It's chopped tomatoes and herbs. It's a high-end Italian fashion. It's a high-end Italian sandwich. I like sandwich. The new DQ Bakes Chicken Bruschetta, a premium Italian sandwich at a not-so-premium price. Hot out of the oven, only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. It's easy to command respect at every turn. When you're engineered to literally drive circles around the competition. The all-new Audi Q7. Well, it is the weekend. It's Friday. The cats are playing in just a little bit. The weather is pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's life's fun. good. We're set. <laughs> it's a great evening. So if you're watching the game at home, especially, you can hit the grill. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll be perfect. I think I'll go do that at home myself, as <laughs> a matter of fact. I think hit we'll join yeah. <laughs> No. Uh, but you hit the grill, uh, but you won't be able to do this weekend because you will have to dodge some showers out there. Medium rare on the steak, okay? All you right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at 11. Go Cats. <laughs>